They are about to move up for the Canberra Greyhound at Cup 4 today. Let's head out to 2KY's Paul Lambrosoli. Good afternoon, Paul. My friend, and a very good afternoon to you. Yes, they're moving in here, young and proud's all the rage. Just about ready. Young and proud, and a flying Glencoe locked away. Near the outside, Jovial Osti's in. <coughs> the signal is about to show. There it is. And the bunny is on its way for the Yukonuba Canberra Cup. They're set. Ready. Racing, Oriana began dreadfully up the tempo, sizzled out of the boxes to lead from Karen's dynasty, Young and Proud, and they were followed around them by Jovi Losty. Kit Karama's making solid ground. Oriana's a minute back and flying. Glencoe at the rear. Down the back, the leader up the tempo, two in front of Kit Karama, closing in. Five away as Red Lee and a break. Karen's dynasty, Jovi Losty, Young and Proud, Oriana, and flying Glencoe on the corner. Kit Karama up the tempo. Kit Karama into the lead from up the tempo. Red Lee's flying home. Kit Karoma in front, it's Kit Karoma's cup. Kit Karoma takes out the cup by about a nick on the line to Red Lee. Up the tempo, or Karen's dynasty third from Jovi Losty. Flying Glencoe, Oriana and Young and Proud wound up near the rear. Kit Karoma takes out the big one. Seven, the black. The ever-consistent Kid Karoma is first. Six, the brown. Up the tempo will be, I should say, for the blue, Red Lee will be second. And either up the tempo uh, or Karen's dynasty for third. The judge has called for the photo finish. Kid Karoma the outside and Red Lee on the inside. And there's no doubt that Kid Karoma's taken out the cup. He got a lovely run around Karen's dynasty getting into the first turn. That was the key to the event. Jovi lost, he didn't get a Cross and Kid Karoma got over the face of Karen's dynasty to be the chaser to up the tempo. Once up the tempo led and led clearly, you would have expected that you're on a fair thing. But up the tempo started to feel the, the, the pressure of Kid Karoma at the top turn. He is a very consistent greyhound. He's now won 12 out of 51 with no less than 20 seconds and nine thirds. And of course, a number of those have been in town. And uh, he's just been one of those ultra consistent greyhounds. Here come the Placings. The winner, Seven the Black Kid Karoma by a Little Denver out of Sibelia, is owned by our pit stock, trained by his pit stock of Mangrove Mountain. Standing by for second and third and also the times, the overall time was 30 and 45. 30 and 45 was the time. The, uh, the disappointment of the race uh, were undoubtedly, um, were undoubtedly uh, Oriana and Young and Proud. Oriana just walked out, walked out of the boxes. I don't know what she did. Young and Proud was tightened up by Karen's dynasty. Of all greyhounds, Karen's dynasty, which is a stayer and normally slow to go, was driving across on top of Young and Proud at the first turn. All right, that's the story. It's seven, four, and a six. Seven, four, and six. Uh, the time, 30.45. The margins are half by one and a quarter. A half by one and a quarter with the margins on race six. That's the story on the Yukonuba Canberra Cup for 1996. Back to all studios. Thank you very much, Paul Amber. Solely uh, from uh, Canberra with the call of the uh, Canberra Greyhound Cup going to uh, Kid Karoma on the uh, Act tab. We'll have those dividends through for you very soon. Quarter time, Sydney 6 2 38, lead North Melbourne 3 2 20. So an eight